Hello and welcome to the first episode of my N64 collection. This is the mighty N64. It's from uh, 1997 in Europe. It's a fifth generation console and it's a famous N64. It's a very good console. Um, this type has an expansion pack. This was optional. And I think this is a really good console. Uh, a lot of people remember this console, but it has a problem. Well, should I say, it has a really problem because it's cartridge based. Uh, this console has two opponents. One was very deadly, one was, uh, should I say, was where? Nothing more. The first one was the Sega Saturn. This was not a really successful console. It's a good console, but not very successful. But the opponent, the PS1, maybe was the death sentence for this console. So Big N has a lot of problems, but this console has very good games. And today we start with some more games. This is a transfer pack. I will tell you something if I have the useful games to show you something. So, let's start it with the first consoles. Uh, the first cartridges. This is a console. First one is All Star Baseball 99. It's a solid baseball game. It's not my personal best sports game. I'm not so keen with baseball. Uh, but it's useful. It's okay. Nothing more. Better is Madden. Madden Football 64, the first Madden game on the N64. It's a typical Madden game. It's solid, it's standard, it's okay. It's not the greatest Madden game, of course, but it's okay, it's playable. Extreme... Oh, I have both. Ha! This was an accident. Extreme G and Extreme XG2. Enormous great game. Um, very fast future racer, very good, very playable. Uh, maybe you can play them, but very, very good. Xena, based on the TV series. And this is a really interesting beat em up. It has a lot of cast from the series. And it's okay, it's really, it's really okay. I, maybe I, I got it uh, by an inc uh, incident, but uh, it's okay. It's really playable, so it's, uh, it's a good tip. Rich Racer 64, yes, there was a Rich Racer on the N64. And this game is absolutely playable. You will like it, it's a really good racer. I was impressed, but this is a really good racer. Clover. Um, should I say it's a puzzle game? Yes, I think it is a puzzle game. Uh, you control this hand, and this hand controls a ball, and with these balls you solve some puzzles. It's unique, it's interesting, it's really, really funny. Believe me. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It's a good N64 game. <laughs> it's even it's, it's from Hasbro, but it's okay. It's really good. <laughs> My only Japanese cartridge. Hey you Pikachu, the Japanese version. Don't ask me what it's called in Japan. Maybe you can write in the comment. Um, I have a microphone. I have an N64 NTSC for this little game. Um, uh, it's, should I say it's la something like a Tamagotchi? Um, it's a question. It is not a good game. It's really funny. Uh, it's more for laughs than for gaming. So if you are a very hardcore Pokemon fan, I think we're maybe two or three out there, this may be your cup of tea, but uh, it's really strange. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, the N64 version. Um, it's really okay, it's playable, 
this is a very solid N64 version. Um, it's a question if you like uh, the um, PS1 version better. Uh, this is the version with a f f female chameleon, I think. Uh, but it's absolutely okay. If you have a chance to get it, go get it. The next Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies. Um, this is the version that is maybe playable in the levels due to the architecture of the N64. Um, it, has, it hasn't the, the, the movies, of course. The movies were the PS1 only. But it's, it's okay. It's, it's playable. And you have more text uh, captures, but it's the same game without the maybe strange videos. It's okay. It's not my personal favorite MK, but it's okay. Speaking of MK, uh, this is Mortal Kombat 4 and it's really strange. I think this version is better than the PS1 version. But I think it's just only my taste. So um, I prefer this game to the PS1 version, but you have to choose for yourself. The next thing, Clay Fighter 63 and a half, or fruit, or something. This is a very unique fighter. It's a fun fighter with clay um, figures, and it has clay metalities, or clay talities, or something. Um, so it was based or very inspired by MK, and it's really interesting, really playable. I think you just give this game a chance. It's unique. So maybe this is interesting for you. El Shooter on the N64. Bug Bumble. Um, strange game, but not a worse, not a, not a bad game. You control a bee and uh, maybe you're in a cybernetic, who knows, some alien races um, from chemical plants uh, invade the earth and you are the bee to rescue the world, of course. This is a really interesting shooter, so maybe you give this game a chance because it's really interesting. It has not the best camera, that is a, tro a typical problem for a lot of N64 games, uh, but it's interesting. It was it was a good good tip. Racer Star Wars Episode One Racer maybe the best thing that came from Episode One from this great movie. Yippee! And again, um, this is a really good uh, racer. It's very fast. It's very high paced. Um, even the PC version uh, is very similar to, to the N64 version, so this is uh, a good racer. If you're interested in racer, just give this thing a chance. So, the next one. Now we have uh, another racer. Beetle Adventure Racing. Yes, it's a game about a beetle, but it's a really interesting racer. It works. Uh, it, may, it has makes a lot of fun. Uh, I think you just give it a chance. Uh, I, I, once, once again, I did it uh, on a pure accident, but it's it's a really good game. Speaking of really good, you want it, you got it. Superman sixty four. Maybe you pause this video. Um, maybe I should go to the rent or rage mode like the AVGN. Um, this is not my favorite N64 game. I uh, own this game because I'm an absolutely idiot. I'm a living nutshell on the planet. Um, but this time, so we're going to the 10 minute mark. I have a job for you, you little fellas out there. Write in the comments what you think about Superman 64. And the guy or the gal who writes it's a good game, I 
will find you. So, write in the comments, what do you think about Superman 64? Great game. <laughs> of course. Um, and in the next episode, uh, there will be more games. So, be surprised. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment and rate and tell me something about Superman 64, the mighty clock end. <sighs> and fly through rings. Very inspired by Sonic, I think. So, till next week, see you.